Let's take a look at the sub accounts. Sub accounts are amazing when you are wanting to have someone else promote your business or service or product for you and you want to reward them for their efforts. So it is basically being an affiliate and you will give them a percentage of the sale. So here I already have the name of an affiliate. I have the bank account that the affiliate has provided me with and I'm giving this affiliate 10% and my percentage of the sale would be 90%. So let's go ahead and see how we actually create this new sub account. Now, as you can see on the top over here, you, there is US dollar, Nigeria, Naira, and you know, the ZAR and everything. I'm only using ZAR, I'm in South Africa. So if I'm creating a new sub account, I would put the sub account holder's name, and here I'm going to say just test, and the email address, the country, their bank name because obviously they're going to want to get paid so and then the split tap now I can offer to give them a flat amount or I can say percentage I'm going to say percentage and for this person I will give them say 20% of each of the sales and I will keep 80% okay so again we have here we have the name the bank account uh, the ID the account ID the share that you're willing to give the affiliates and then your share. Now, how do you actually use this? Let's have a look. When I'm collecting payments, I can either collect it in my online store or through a payment link. Let's take a look at the payment link to see how easy this works. So I'm going to create a new payment link for a particular product. Now, this product can be anything, actually. I can have a predefined amount for the product or I can allow the customer to enter. Now, if the customer enters, regardless of what they actually enter, 20% will always go to my affiliate person. Let's choose it to be a predefined amount. Let's just say 10 Rand. And the description of this is testing link. I mean, you can have any description of your product. You can add more details here. One of the nice details here is actually to redirect them after they've made the payment. So you can choose your own website, you can choose the actual product that they bought, if it's a digital product, you can choose here. Now split payment with sub account. Here I choose my affiliate name. We've just created test sub name. So let's put that there. And any extra information I want, no, I always think the less information the customer has to enter, the better. So here I go and create the link. My link has automatically appeared. So now let me view this link and I'm going to pay. Okay, the amount has already been populated because you saw that I put 10 Rand in immediately. Now I select pay and I can choose how I want to pay. Because I have enabled PayPal as a merchant owner on my Flutterwave account, the customer can choose to pay with PayPal or with bank card, uh, with their online bank EFT, with one voucher or with the product, which is an awesome app called Barter. I'm going to just say bank card to keep things simple at the moment and I'm going to select pay. Okay, here I see that the product has been paid for, the 10 Rand has gone through, and as a customer, by using this payment link, my payment is confirmed, I know that I have made payment. As a Flutterwave business owner, I see that a payment of 10 Rand has come through, the customer has paid the full 10 Rand, and they paid with card, so I can see all the information about the transaction here. If I go onto the transactions tab, I can click on this payment and I see that the payment is split between the sub account who I've put as the test sub name. I think in the future we will give the affiliate an avatar name so that we know who they are. And because it's a 10 Rand transaction, I get 8 Rand and the commission that the agent will get or the affiliate will get is 2 Rand. That is how easy it is to create an affiliate or a sub account so that you can split the payment automatically as the funds come in. It's ideal for when businesses are working in partnerships together and they want to have the payment already split and then entering their bank account without actually having to do any more intervention into the transaction.